the hen shop there. That's very beautiful. I saw some lovely things in there. And this is the final quarter. This is in would be the south west quarter. These little tr well obelisk shaped stones just denote where there was a stone standing previously. It's not been done all the way around. And you can see there's still quite a lot of stones still standing at this end. And from the very first video I took, I was standing on the hill up there behind that big tree. It's very windy in this half, so I hope it's not interfering with the sound. Again, you've got the ditch, it's absolutely huge. It's just a shame it's all filled in and now green instead of white. It would have been an unbelievable sight when that was a bright white colour and it had been glowing from the sunlight, it would have been fantastic. Rather like the pyramids in Egypt actually, it's supposed to have a limestone casing on it that was apparently painted. That would have been quite something too. So, Thankfully with these hills here being made of chalk, you don't need any painting at all. So we're right on the outer circle and then there you can see one of the inner circles. Now I haven't done these videos very well, sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to do them quickly. I'm not going to be in the country for much longer, so I thought I'd get these in at least once before I go. I'd be ashamed of myself if I didn't video this place when I've been here so many times. But there's nothing really to talk about because nobody knows. just beautiful to be here and feel the energy and just wander around. So this was one of the other entrances, the southern entrance. And you see beyond there the avenue, which is a row of stones that leads all the way down for about a mile or so uh, to another circle. And also Silvery Hill. Very windy here. These are the stones of the inner circle, one of the inner circles. And these two are the biggest. at least a hundred tons each. Obviously they go in the ground quite far otherwise they wouldn't be stable. If 
and I stand here and it's probably yeah it's, it's at least 15 feet high this thing that one may be 18 feet high and that's a little spot where everyone sits and has their photo taken <laughs> Give you an idea of scale there with that bus going past. The bus, uh, the road's slightly lower than the ground level here, so it might be slightly deceptive. But it still shows you how big these stones actually are. I'll just go over here quickly because this is where the avenue is. So, for whatever reason, people talk about processions and things, but nobody really knows, again. So this is one of the entrances. They either exited here or entered here. Perhaps both. And you've got this very long avenue which is parallel to the road here. Most of the stones are on down, down the uh, other side of that hill, so you don't see them. But again, you've got uh, obelisk stones showing where the stones were originally. So you can see, it actually makes a kind of a uh, roadway, if you like. And again, just behind that hill there is Silbury Hill. I'm going to cut this off now because the wind is uh, quite bad. Ah, there you go. Daffodils, first signs of spring.